So can you guess the color of your hat based on the color of other people's hats? Let's talk about that. Alright, what's up everybody? Thank you for spending a little bit of your time with me today. Alright, so today I'm gonna talk about a really fun puzzle. There are actually a lot of variations to this puzzle. So if you're interested, I'm gonna drop the link in the description down below and you can check it out. And here's the setup. So there are three people in the room and each one of them are given a red hat or a blue hat. They don't see their own hat, but they see the hat of other two people. And once they see the other people hat, they were asked to do one more thing, which is they are asked to raise their hand if they see at least one red hat. So if you see two red hat, you raise your hand. If you see one red and one blue, you raise your hand. If you see two blue, you don't raise your hand. And the goal is the first person who gets the color of his hat correctly is declared a winner. But if he guesses incorrectly, the other two will be winner. So you really want to be sure if you want to answer. Alright, and here's what happened. The game start. Everyone raise their hand. And then after a few minutes, one person shout, I have a red hat and he declared a winner. And here's a question to this problem. Explain the situation. What really happened? How did he figure out that he has a red hat? Alright, if you like, you can pause the video here and give it some thought on what's happening. But if you're ready, here's the solution. Alright, so before we go into the solution, let me tell you two keys to this problem. The first one is we're going to be using a lot of process of elimination, which means something like we see that there are three possible choices, something will happen. So let's call it choice one, choice two, and choice three. And you say that if choice one were to happen, then something else that we did not see would also happen. But since we didn't see that thing happen, we conclude that choice one is impossible. And then we go to choice two. If choice two were to happen, then something else were to happen. But that thing didn't happen, so choice two is impossible. So we went through choice one and choice two. They are both impossible. There's only one left. It's going to be choice three, and that choice three would be our answer. And the second key to this problem is the part of the question that's really underused by a lot of people. It's the part that say, after a few minutes, a person says something. So after a few minutes, what does that mean? That literally means once a game starts, nobody knows the answer right away. That is kind of like little information, but it will help us conclude what happening at the end. Alright, with those two keys in mind, let's go over the solution. So the first information that we're going to be using is the fact that everyone raised their hand. So with that, let's ask this question. What are possible number of red hats in the game? So since there are three people, there are four possible cases. You can have zero red hat, one red hat, two red hats, and three red hats. Alright, so let's go from bottom up. Let's go from zero first. So if there's zero red hat, mean everyone wear blue hat. Would that be possible? Of course, the answer is no, because we know that everyone raised their hand. If everyone wear blue hat, everyone will see two blue hat. Nobody will raise their hand, but we know that everyone raised their hand. That's contradicting information. Therefore, the assumption that everyone wear blue hat is impossible. All right, that's going to be kind of like the theme of this solution. You first guess that there are zero red hat, but if there were to be zero red hat, there will be three blue hat, and nobody will raise their hand, but the evidence shows that everyone raised their hand. Contradiction. Therefore, the assumption that say zero red hat is impossible. Then we move on to the next case. All right, of course, the next case will be one red hat, two blue hat. Would that be possible? And I think this is actually the fun part to like pause and think a little bit whether or not it's impossible. And if you're ready, here we go. So is it possible to have only one red hat? If you think the answer is no, then you are correct. And here's why. So if there's one red hat, there will be two blue hats. Let's think about what the person with red hat will see. The person with red hat will see two blue hats, right? Because he doesn't see his own hat. So he saw two blue hat and he will be like, oh, there's no red hat, so he wouldn't raise his hand. But the evidence said that everyone raised their hand, so these are two contradicting information, which we conclude that this case is impossible. So the assumption that one red hat and two blue hat is also impossible. So what do we have left? We have either two red hats or three red hats. So let's do two red hats first to see if it's possible, and if it's possible, then what information can we get? If it's impossible, we figure out why. Okay, so we have two red hat, one blue hat. 
let's imagine this. Let's imagine you are one of the person who has the red hat. So you sit down, you wear a red hat. Of course, you don't see your red hat. You still figure out whether or not it's blue or red. But you see one red hat and one blue hat. And what else you know? You know that those two people also raise their hand. Alright, so let me compile these two information to you really quickly. So first, one person has red hat, one person has blue hat. And second, both of them claim that they see at least one red hat. So what's going on here? That should trigger your thoughts somehow. And here's what you can conclude. So you sitting there in the room, the other guy in the red hat, see blue hat and your hat, and say, Oh, I see a red hat. He see a blue hat and your hat, and he claim that he see a red hat. You conclude that you have a red hat. There's no way around it. So what's the conclusion? The conclusion is, if you see one red hat, one blue hat, and you see both of them raise their hand, you shout right away that you have a red hat. Because if you wear a blue hat, that guy wouldn't raise his hand. So you must wear a red hat. So you shout right away, you have red hat, and you win the game. But what is the actual conclusion in this case? The actual conclusion is, if there are two red hat, one blue hat, a person with red hat should be able to conclude that he has a red hat right away when the game starts. But did that happen? No, it didn't happen, right? Because the problem say after a few minutes, somebody finally figured it out. So this case is also impossible because nobody figured it out right away. So. Zero red hat impossible, one red hat impossible, two red hat impossible. So the only case I have left is you have three red hats. And that's the end of the story. Alright, so in conclusion, what happened in that game was like this. Three people in the room, they were told about the rules about red hat and blue hat. And then three red hat were given. Everyone sit down, everyone see two red hat, everyone raise their hand. And since everyone raise their hand, everyone see red hat, nobody can conclude right away. But then one person realized really quickly that Oh, if nobody figured out right away, the only possible scenario is everyone had red hat. So he shall red hat and he win the game. So actually there's one more part that I forget to mention. So this explanation based on the fact that everyone follow the rule, um, everyone act rationally, mean everyone wants to win, and also everyone is smart. So especially the last part, you conclude that you have a red hat because if you have a blue hat, the other person should figure it out that he has a red hat right away but from the fact that he didn't figure it out you conclude that he's smart but he didn't figure it out so you must have a red hat but if he's not smart enough then you couldn't figure it out if you have a blue hat and he's dumb or you have a red hat and he's smart if that makes sense so that's all i want to talk about today if you like this video please leave a big like that's one little thing means a lot to me. If you have any more questions or any problem that you want me to solve, please leave a comment down below. If you really, really like this video, please share it on your social media like your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I mean, I'm old. I don't know what social to use right now, like Snapchat, Tinder. Is that a social media? Anyway, that's all I want to talk about today. My name is Kuang and you're watching Enchus K. Peace!